Hello and welcome to a new vlog. This will be an exclusive video because I am the first to show anything about this board. What I'm holding in my hand is the new Raspberry Pi version 4, the yet unreleased version. Like I mentioned, I am the first to get this board months before the official uh, release date because this is an engineering sample. I was lucky to have a good friend of mine, a childhood friend actually, that works at the Raspberry Pi Foundation. He's the guy that did the PCB layout of all the Raspberry Pi versions that you know. So I didn't let him go until he asked the right guy for permission and uh, he made this thing possible for me. He got the permission to give me the board and show it on video pre-release. I'm not allowed to keep it because this is one of the few engineering samples that exists but we can still take a good look before I have to return it. So let's go to the bench for a closer look. The first thing that we noticed, they kept the same 4 factor. This new version 4 has the exact same PCB dimensions with the same hole spacing and as well the same placement for the expansion port. The Ethernet and the HDMI uh, port also keep their position on the board but that's about where the uh, similarities stop. This new design ditches the uh, separate uh, camera and uh, uh, LCD display connectors for a new dual integrated flat flex connector that will ensure connection for both the camera and display. As we can see it's marked right here camera slash display. I am told there will be like a Y splitter flat flex that will split the connection from this connector two ways for connecting both a camera and the display from the same connector. Now this is probably the biggest change uh, so far and will be the most discussed change they made. This is the kind of thing that you either hate it or love it and uh, as I know the Raspberry Pi community this is probably a feature that most people will hate and uh, there will be a lot of talk about this on the forums. They no, no longer have the micro USB or the USB type A uh, ports. They have gone all USB type C. So you get five USB type C ports now. Now this is an Apple style move meaning you will need a bunch of adapters, uh, cables or maybe even new devices that feature the USB type C connection. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is aware this will be a controversial change but it will allow them to switch to USB 3 on all 5 ports and also it allows them to accept or provide power from all 5 ports uh, at the same time with keeping the cost low. Because as you know the cost is always an issue with uh, Raspberry Pi. Also as an improvement and maybe in cost reduction there are no more fuses on this board all the current limiting is done dynamically by the uh, power management ICs that we see behind each USB Type-C port. The uh, analog composite um, audio and video RCA connector was also removed but they have a trick up their sleeve. This uh, second USB Type-C connector right here if we look closely it's marked A slash V and it does provide analog uh, audio and video connection with uh, the right cable adapter that will be sold by the um, Raspberry Pi Foundation probably it will soon be available on eBay and all the other Chinese sources. I think this is the first product to ever use that as I was discussing with my friend and uh, I don't have, have uh, full info on that but it looks like they're using a switch that would normally route uh, audio over USB Type-C but instead they routed the uh, composite analog video over that channel. The uh, Ethernet is now uh, Gigabit Ethernet and that is something a lot of people were uh, waiting and because of this uh, new processor with uh, increased power uh, it was actually needed to have a Gigabit connectivity. Now about the uh, new processor which is right here. I'm not allowed to release any part numbers yet but let me tell you that this is one of the newest quad-core processors from Broadcom. It's uh, manufactured on their uh, 28 nanometer process and it's a beast while at the same time consuming very low power. They need this uh, Broadcom companion chip to work with the processor 
because uh, this companion chip handles all the USB 3 stuff plus I hear the uh, chip has a low power mode where it can put the main processor into deep sleep while itself uh, is keeping the Ethernet connection going and it just wakes the processor when something needs to be processed and that provides very low power usage during that mode. Regarding the uh, memory, it now comes with 2 GB um, capacity and I bet uh, this will be an appreciated upgrade by everyone. It's a single chip mounted on the back side of the board. It seems like they didn't uh, use the package on package system anymore that we were used to seeing. Who knows, maybe it was cheaper to mount the uh, memory chip on the back. The SD card stays in the same uh, position, although I think they have changed the connector, but this new one seems very nice. We have the uh, wireless connectivity system uh, on chip right next to the SD card. This uh, version 4 will have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. And interestingly enough, it also comes with this very small U.FL connector for an external antenna. I'm not sure this will be present on the uh, production units because as you might be aware, FCC doesn't like this kind of thing. So they don't certify your product if you allow the user to plug in any antenna they want. What else? There are lots of uh, test points on the back, same as with uh, previous models. We see some passives for the couplings on the for the coupling on the processors, but uh, not much else. I'm hearing there will be some uh, nice changes in the software as well, and an unconfirmed yet uh, rumor that this new processor will be able to run Windows uh, 10 from an SD card. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show any of the software uh, on camera. It was part of the agreement, but they didn't say I couldn't uh, power it on on camera. So let's do that. I have this uh, USB Type-C cable plugged into a power bank. So let's plug this into the board. It's nice about these uh, USB Type-C connectors that you can plug it, plug them any, any way around. Yes, yeah, so it seems uh, the system it has already booted or I don't know, it probably does something in the background because I see the activity uh, LED is blinking. So uh, there you have it, the new Raspberry Pi 4, which is supposed to be released in June and uh, updates to the Raspberry Pi 0 or the compute module should follow towards the end of uh, 2017 because their plan is to have all of their boards running on the same processor. This should save cost and should make switching between modules easier. Now, unfortunately, this has to go back, but I am quite happy that I could see it in person before the release and I am very happy that I was allowed to show it to you guys as well. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you could share or like it. As always, thank you for watching this and I will see you next time.